Hi. Hi, Andrea Conference. My name is Kazuya Kawasaki. I'm a speculative fashion designer to construct a bridge between fashion design and wearable technology uh, in the giving focal points to uh, historical, existing, and speculative fashion issues uh, with science, technology, and the communication through uh, design research and critique. Today, uh, I would like to talk about uh, a series of biofashion research and speculate on the fa future of fashion with you. Now, uh, we have uh, witnessed three big phenomena uh, from the perspective of emerging technology uh, and fashion issue. Uh, first one is mass customizable fashion. Uh, for example, London-based fashion brand, uh, Unmade, is the technology and manufacturing platform uh, in collaboration with knitting factories uh, to enable to offer customizable, customizable garments uh, to offer uh, 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 customizable garment. If you have a tablet or a smartphone, uh, you can uh, design a garment uh, uh, by yourself on demand and uh, order immediately. Uh, that is uh, what digital fabrication allows, uh, and it means information technology and fashion uh, fusing together. Uh, next, wearable technology. Uh, Jacket technology by Google Eight Up uh, uses sensor implemented to take a uh, feature able to sense physical touch or gestures, uh, wearable experience. Uh, as evidenced by the example of Google project Jacket Jacket, uh, now, fashion designers have to think about what, what, uh, uh, what does it mean to wear information uh, in the built environment, and why would one want to wear wearable technology instead of carrying a smartphone? Uh, then, uh, lastly, biotech and fashion. Uh, Japanese company Spiber uh, is developing the synthetic yarn, uh, Kumonosu, a yarn made by manufacturing fabroing. Uh, Fabroin has environmentally sustainable characteristics uh, and can be spun into a strong and flexible yarn. Uh, let's think about biofashion uh, in particular. Uh, actually, in the field of fashion design research uh, since 2000, uh, environmental sustainability has also a growing issue. Uh, the commercial fashion design, uh, commercial fashion industry highly relies on mass production and mass consumption, uh, and the, the resulting accumulation of textile waste uh, has become the root of many in, uh, environmental problems. Uh, with the help of exploration of uh, and research in the field of wearable technology, pretty, particularly in the 2010s. Uh, the fusion between fashion and biotechnology is about to happen. In the research of sustainable materials, designers and the engineers uh, have begun to look at the metabolic processes uh, of microorganisms as a way to synthesize natural components. My biofashion project inquiries uh, some question. What is the alternative role uh, of fashion designer uh, in the age of biotechnology. Uh, yes, my project title is uh, Biological Tailor Made, aims to speculate on an alternative form of fashion uh, to embed the system of current uh, fashion industry by the power of biohacking. Uh, the process of fashion design is mainly premised on pattern cutting uh, for two dimensions, uh, except knit and leather. Uh, however, a metabolic system of, bio, new bio, of new biomaterials enable us to design more organic fabrics. Uh, based on the techniques, uh, uh, the current garment production process uh, that we are all taking for granted uh, today will uh, radically change. Uh, the biological tailor made improves the uh, conventional technique of pattern cutting. Uh, and inverts, uh, invents an uh, alternative design process. Anyway, uh, seeing is building. Uh, let's watch the project movie. Uh, here we go. Uh, 
In order to tackle the complex task of uh, development of uh, biofashion prototype, I worked in parallel learning modules according to discipline fashion, digital fabrication, and biohacking. In the fashion design phase, I designed the suits to work with a model of a woman uh, to fit the dimensions and decide the shape uh, while gradually improving. Uh, this is because I thought that traditional custom-made could be an analogy of this process. Uh, in this research, I use a biomaterial called SCOBY as a case study. If you incubate SCOBY on the carbon side surface, uh, SCOBY will produce textile along the carbon surface. Uh, it, it would be one of the interesting future, features of SCOBY that you could control its shape uh, during the cultivation process by uh, constructing its environmental envir environment or situation. Uh, those processes in which SCOBY produces uh, three-dimensional fabric have a highly affinity with digital fabrication. Also, allowing, uh, following this method, the designer can design garment without any fabric waste. Uh, then I use a large-scale technic CNC machine and uh, that can generate human scale object and create it mold uh, in order to model uh, biomaterials. Uh, on the mold, I incubate it uh, and dry the material. Uh, this biological tailor made uh, can express the carbon surface, uh, shape, uh, carbon surface shape to fit to create the possibility of introducing digital fabrication to biofashion. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, I want to this gam. Uh, I I want to wear this garment, but uh, I'm not uh, a fashion model. So uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, I I'm bringing this real things. Yes. Uh, anyway, in. Conclusion, when I talk about uh, biofashion, I always reminded or remind of my most respected uh, new wave sci-fi writer, J.G. Bard. Uh, he dreamed of future fashion uh, by biotechnology. Uh, that garment is able to understand human emotions and change shape and color according to biomimetic information. Uh, in his novel, dressmaking is biohacking, uh, future fashion designer, a uh, biohacker. Going one step further, uh, what would happen if our garments become completely designed by biotechnology? Uh, imagine the future of post-human bodies that wearing textiles of biological origin. I have proposed a fashion design based meaning driven design fiction uh, to speculate the possible garment specific biohacking uh, practice. I think fashion design is not only about uh, making aesthetically pleasing products or studying historical costume. Uh, I argue that the process uh, proposed work is another process of developing garment specific. Uh, by hacking pro practice from the perspective of speculative fashion. Uh, I also think that the creativity particular to fashion designer uh, can speculate on uh, future image of the human body, uh, technology, and the society. Uh, my vision is that by hacking uh, fashion can invert the system of the current fashion industry from analog, closed, and retrospective to uh, digital, open, and speculative. Thank you for listening. <laughs>